Alicia here at Pecan Creek Ranch. I'm just getting our, my morning started with our equine partners and just kind of hanging out with them here for a, a bit and checking in with them. It's one of the things I do regularly as an equine professional. I always talk about in TFEAP and our work with our equines that one of my main jobs is to be an anchor for my horses. So someone that is grounded hi kai how are you doing this morning a grounded consistent safe presence for them to connect to and this is if we want to talk about their welfare during sessions things can get really difficult with clients they can get really uncomfortable and they can cause stress well if your horses have a safe connection to come back to no matter what in their sessions, they can withstand that and without it um, adversely affecting them. So that's something I have to practice all the time. And it's not something we just practice in session. It's something we practice in all our interactions with our equine partners and all of our animals. And part of that is giving them a voice. And the way you can start giving your equine partners a, a voice is by when you come around them, you have to open yourself up to hearing what they have to say to you. So, and I'm not talking about any magical animal communication stuff. All of us are capable of this. You don't have to have any special um, traits to be able to do this. It is a bit of a meditative practice in that you do have to move, be able to look at some of your thoughts and your feelings, be aware of them, and move them aside to make room for what your horses are trying to say to you. So for example, one of the things that is that could get in the way for me this morning is that we have our business meeting coming up and it's, uh, and it's on my mind and because we have some exciting things in the works. And I have to be able to set that aside and open some space for my horses to tell me what they have to tell me. A lot of times I have to move aside some of my programmed beliefs and ideas about how horses should be interacting with me so that I can hear what my horses are trying to communicate to me. And when you do this, you you start establishing a foundation for your horses to reach out to you during sessions when things are difficult because they feel like they can have a voice with you. But it's something you have to be very consistent with and keep practicing, not only in the presence of or in the respect of doing a task for you or with you, but in just your everyday small interactions that you have with the horses. So just a little tip for you guys, and if you want to experience more about how we integrate all of the natural lifemanship principles and trauma trauma informed principles of relationship into our work with our clients and our horses check out our two-day immersion program we'd love to see you have a good day